Fintan O'Toole, your latest uh, piece for the Irish Times, you, you uh, look at this threat to democracy, which this war is, Vladimir Putin trying to crush his neighboring uh, democracy, and you make the point that this is a, a phenomenon that we're seeing around the world, that this, this challenge, this, this, uh, this challenge to democracy is not just uh, there. And you've isolated, you've isolated a cause that, that uh, is new to me and very compelling when you say the molten core of this crisis of democracy is that capitalism itself has gone feral. Capitalism has evolved to be at least as compatible with oligarchy and autocracy as it is with democracy. And that takes me back to the days when uh, the, the walls were cracking and there was so much optimism in the United States, in the foreign policy community, especially because finally Levi's and Coca-Cola were making their way into the Soviet Union and they felt, well, the clock is ticking on the regime. Uh, once uh, the Soviet citizenry uh, and also in China, once they get the taste of these amazing fruits of American capitalism, they're going to want that, that life for themselves. Therefore, presto, democracy. Turns out we've discovered something else. Very sadly, we have, you know, which is, uh, and this is really very profound, I think, because mm. for hundreds of years, really, you know, a lot of the political theory and the philosophy of, you know, what does it mean to be modern was basically saying, well, look, if you're going to have capitalism, you have to have the rule of law, which means you have to have an independent judiciary, but also you have to have some kind of democracy because people have to consent to the law. And then also you have to have a kind of free flow of information and truth because actually capitalism needs innovation, it needs science, it needs you know people debating things and, and coming up with new ideas. Uh, and what we've found really is the collapse of that idea. And I, I, I completely admit that I bought into it too. I mean, I, I completely believed 15 years ago, you know, that there was an inevitability about the way in which China would develop and Russia would develop. Uh, and now what we're seeing, of course, is that both China and Russia have become more autocratic, more authoritarian, more repressive, more brutal. Um, and they're still functioning, you know, as kind of quasi-capitalist societies very well. And so what we have to ask ourselves is, you know, what's gone wrong with our idea of how capitalism works? And I think it goes back to a very basic thing, you know, which is that a lot of people are very, very happy to make an awful lot of money. Uh, and have no responsibility towards society. You know, if you, if you just take the very simple thing of why were the Russian oligarchs able to hide their money and create this vast offshore Russia in the West, they were able to do it because they were exploiting systems that we created to allow our, you know, super rich people to hide their money and move it around and and have it through shell companies where nobody could really tell what the what the beneficial ownership of these places was. So so we ourselves and our the, the corruption of our sense of, of of a responsible capitalism or a capitalism that kind of rooted in the in the common good, I think has contributed hugely to the creation of these monsters that now really threaten democracy itself.